The full range of recoup wastewater heat recovery systems can be installed in system A, B or C configurations, giving options for installation with various efficiencies. With each of the products and system types, the efficiency will also be affected by the shower flow rate. Design shower flow rates must be observed. This video will look at each system type using a single shower feeding into a pipe hex. Multiple showers can feed into a single wastewater heat recovery system with further guidance available on the website. With all system types, the connected shower must be a thermostatic mixer shower with balanced mains pressure supplies. System A supplies preheated water to the cold feed of the thermostatic mixer shower and the cold feed of the water heater. The water heater can be a combination boiler, unvented hot water cylinder of any heat source, thermal store or heat interface unit. System A is the most efficient system configuration offering up to 60% energy reduction. However, if more than one wastewater heat recovery system is to be installed in a property, only one can be supplying preheated water to the water heater. Additional units must be installed as System B configuration. System B supplies preheated water to the cold feed of the thermostatic mixer shower only. It is the least efficient system configuration, but still reduces energy consumption by around 50% with a pipe hex installation. It is typically only used on secondary wastewater heat recovery systems when more than one is installed within a property, or with retrofit installations where major pipework alterations are not feasible. System C supplies preheated water to the cold feed of the water heater only. It is the middle efficiency system configuration, and just like System A, only one wastewater heat recovery system can supply preheated water to the water heater, meaning additional units must be installed as System B configuration. System C is the least common, and is usually specified where the pipework length between the wastewater heat recovery system and the shower valve would be more than the maximum 4.75 meters, preventing a System A or B installation. An example of this may be a townhouse, with one bathroom above another, with a pipe hex on the ground floor. 4.75 meters pipe length in 15 mm copper is to limit the volume of preheated water that is left in the pipework between showering, maintaining a low Legionella risk. The preheated water pipework volume between the wastewater heat recovery system and the water heater is not a concern, however as the water heater should be set to increase the temperature to above 60 degrees Celsius. Where SAP calculations have specified the system type for the wastewater heat recovery installation, this must be followed, as failure to do so could mean the property does not comply with building regulations part L or its energy efficiency requirements.